Today, the DJI FPV drone, official images, and latest leaks. Let's get right to it. Hey guys, Felix here with Quadcopter Guide, and on this channel, I help you get the most out of your drones and other camera gear. Today, we're talking about the DJI FPV drone, and specifically, the latest leaks, and also official images that got out into the internet. <laughs> We've got them here for you today, so let's dive right in. For those of you that haven't seen the previous videos, DJI is releasing their own FPV drone. It is going to be the perfect drone to get you into FPV. Maybe you're flying a DJI Mavic, a Spark, or a Phantom, any of their consumer kind of camera drones, and you thought, you know, this FPV thing, the first person view with the goggles, and you just wanted to try this immersive experience because I can tell you it is very, very immersive. Maybe you wanted to, you know, touch your toe into the, the water of FPV and you haven't really done it yet. You haven't uh, thought of buying even kind of a bind and fly type setup or wanted to build your own, figure out which flight controller, which ESC, which motors and props and all that stuff. Maybe you don't want to have to mess with programs like Betaflight to tune your quad and all that stuff. If that is you, then this is something that you should get excited about. All right, so the latest images. Let's take a look at these official images. I don't know how people get their hands on these. Maybe they're in the marketing chain with DJI or maybe they work at a, a store that gets these images sent early to them that they can update their own marketing materials. Anyhow, they leaked out and we got them here. So let's take a look at that first. After we look at the images, we're gonna talk about pricing. We've got more details on pricing and also the release date. It's pretty much nailed down to one or two days and I'll mention that at the end. All right, so this first image here is a classic DJI marketing image. It's out somewhere in the middle of nowhere. We've got some windmills in the background and the uh, guy here is wearing the version two of the DJI goggles. One thing is it's kind of interesting how they made the power cable kind of run out first and then have it droop down but anyhow, that's how it is. He's got the version two of the DJI FPV remote controller in his hand, the remote control. And of course here on the left, you see the DJI FPV drone flying. Now at this angle, it is pretty much in the full forward uh, flight attitude or mode. The reason that's kind of cool is you'll see in one of the additional images. And then of course you've got the uh, a model here in the middle uh, standing and watching. Maybe she's the visual observer. The next image appears to be somewhere along Antelope Canyon, maybe at the, at the Arizona border or any other area that looks similar. Anyhow, I'm not sure if they flew the drones in there or they just kind of photoshopped them in, but nonetheless, another interesting image of two DJI FPV drones in flight. Now let's get to the exciting part. Check this out. This is the highest resolution image we've seen of the front of the DJI FPV drone. And once again, we've seen these aspects before in previously leaked images, but this is the highest resolution. As a matter of fact, you can even see that the propellers appear to be stamped with 63288 or 66. Maybe they are six inch props. Hmm, interesting. We've always assumed they were kind of the standard five inch, but this could be a six or 6.2 inch propeller on the DJI FPV drone. Now, if you take a look here, you can see that one axis gimbal on the FPV cam. Some of the hardware a little bit clearer now. And of course the front stereoscopic obstacle avoidance sensors. And this little plastic flap we'll see here in a minute. I assume this is where the micro SD card gets inserted and also where you hook up the USB cable if you wanna update the drone via your computer. Here you can see the FPV drone in kind of a forward flight configuration. And you can see that the one axis gimbal has made the lens of the camera horizontal. And check this out. The arms of the drone appear to be a perfect airfoil for this kind of attitude. And so even the arms or legs of the drone provide lift. So that's pretty cool. I wonder what percentage of lift these arms can uh, provide. They aren't huge, but four of them, you know, a little bit, any uh, aerodynamic guys or engineers watching this? Let me know down below. I'm kind of curious if you could guess just off the top of your head how much lift and let's say in a percentage of lift those arms or legs provide. Here on the back, you can see the large battery, which we've gotten a detailed look at in previous videos at the top, the heat sink, and here the inlet for the cool air. The hot air comes out the back and cools the heat sink as well. All right, the next image. Another view of the drone in full forward flight. And you can see this thing was definitely designed 
to be in this attitude most of its time. And the battery, the huge, huge battery here inserted from the rear, that thing is massive, perfectly centered for a center of gravity as well. And the gimbal once again, aiming the camera perfectly horizontal. Now, next up, the highest resolution image we've seen of the version two of the remote control for the DJI FPV system. And this brings us to an interesting point. You can see the storage for the sticks. The sticks are actually gonna be a different thread this time around. They're not gonna be kind of the standard Mavic thread and the antenna which flips up. Let's talk about this right here. Take a look at the sticks. The right stick, of course, centered with a spring. Now the left stick, it also appears to be centered with a spring. Now this brings up a huge discussion. Of course, if you've flown a DJI camera drone, you know that the left stick for throttle and yaw on the throttle position, it springs back to center. So if you just let go of the left stick, it springs back to center and the drone just goes into a hover. So you're not accelerating the motor's speed to increase altitude and you're not decreasing the speed of the motors either to lose altitude. Now for an FPV drone, traditionally you don't have a spring or a ratchet or anything on the throttle. That way, no matter what kind of a drone you fly, if the hover setting isn't perfectly in the middle, which it normally isn't, then you can control the hover yourself if you want to. The kind of hardcore FPV enthusiast does not want a spring to return the drone into a stable hover. Now I saw mention that Ken Heron did a stream with Sean from Geekswana, and on that stream, he mentioned that he had flown the DJI FPV drone. I don't doubt that. It could be one of his acquaintances has one and he personally does not have an NDA so he can talk about it. And he mentioned that the throttle stick did not return to center with a spring. So does that mean one of those is true and the other isn't? Maybe these images are just mocked up to be in the center? I don't doubt either one, they could both be correct. And some of these other images or leaked clips from videos, we saw that the bottom of the remote has little arrows pointing at the soft grips. So maybe underneath the back of the remote where those little arrows are, these soft kind of rubber, you can kind of pull back a little bit and adjust the spring tension. Maybe you can enable the kind of spring loaded return to center on the throttle. There could be some interesting things coming in regards to the version two of the remote. Now next up is one of the slightly older images, but still new if you haven't seen the latest leaked images. And here you see the DJI FPV drone on the table with the remote and the monstrous batteries, five of them here in the picture. From some of these images, you think this FPV drone is huge. Now looking at it next to this relatively small remote controller and next to the batteries and even this charging brick, it doesn't look that monstrous. So it just gives you a nice perspective in terms of how big this thing is. Here another top down view of the DJI FPV drone with extra props. It looks like this is the contents of the DJI FPV combo. And I'm gonna talk about pricing in a second here of what the different packages could be. Can you buy the DJI FPV drone without the goggles? How much is the fly more combo? How much is just the cheapest combo with the drone remote and goggles and all that, but I'll get to that in a second. And here is the image which you will see when you start up the version two of the goggles when they're linked or synced with the DJI FPV drone. Now this image here, thanks to my buddy Jasper for uh, letting me know about that one as well. This, I will put a link to Jasper's group down below. This is uh, the FPV drone with the green canopy, which apparently comes with in the box and the version two of the FPV goggles on a table in a apparently Croatian restaurant. So there you go. Um, now this is um, kind of interesting. This is a video clip floating around on YouTube. And this shows a guy flying a kind of traditional FPV drone in this kind of bando or abandoned um, kind of location. And look what we see here at the bottom of the stairs. Kind of a super bright light shining at the floor. And if you look at it in detail here, that is definitely looking like the DJI FPV drone with the bottom facing LED or auxiliary light enabled. So that way it can get precision kind of movement data reflecting off the surface with its stereoscopic obstacle avoidance sensors to the bottom. All right, so let's talk about pricing. The DJI FPV drone with the version two of the goggles and the DJI FPV transmitter is rumored to come in at $1,299 US. Now this is the combo with everything you need to fly with one battery. So I expect this to be the price. It could be 50 bucks more or less, but I think that's an accurate price out of the rumors and leaks to date. Now the fly more combo in terms of US dollars, I expect to be around $1,499 to $1,599. And that would be with three batteries. 
Now, if you can swing it, I highly encourage you to do that because these batteries themselves, for one, I expect to retail between 129 US dollars to 149 US dollars. So if you do a quick calculation just on the batteries alone, it makes sense to get that and you usually get some kind of a mechanism to be able to charge multiple batteries one after another and a couple other nice features in the Flymore combo. Now, based on a Dutch uh, Amazon leak, thanks again, Jasper, for figuring this out, there are a couple different options. He says and calculated and guesstimates based on the leaks there that the drone and the remote are going to be available for 730 um, euros. So the DJI's conversion from euros to dollars is a little bit strange. You can't just type it into Google and kind of figure out the price. But based on um, just the pricing of things, 730 for just the drone and the remote. So that begs the question, will this drone and the remote be compatible with the version one of the DJI FPV goggles that would allow someone the opportunity like me to only buy the drone and the remote if I had the version one of the goggles. The version two of the goggles, of course, are available at certain stores and they have been shipping and that came in at 580 euros. And the US price, I think it was $569, something like that. Now the DJI FPV drone combo with the drone, the goggles and one battery is supposed to come in at 1300 euros. So that goes in line with the 1299 US dollar price. And the Flymore combo with three batteries, the drone, the goggles and the remote is supposed to come in at 1650 euros. So based on that, a 1599 US dollar price point would make sense. Now, if you'd like to be in the know seconds or minutes before it's officially available, so you can get your order in before everybody else, so you can get the first one shipped to you, then I encourage you to check out my email list. I'll put a link here in the description below. Um, I sent out an email to that list when this thing is available for order, the instant it's available. So if you'd like that, then make sure you check out that list. And there's also all kinds of free goodies and tutorials and things that will make you a better drone pilot on there. So check that out. All right, so that's the current look at the DJI FPV drone, the latest leaks on the official images. Can't believe we can see those and we can get our hands on those. And uh, yeah, what do you think about it? Let me know down below. Does this make you more excited, less excited about the DJI FPV drone? Are you interested in getting your hands at trying FPV? Would you fly one of these if your buddy had one? Have you flown FPV before? <laughs> Let me know down below and let's get into a great conversation. Exciting times coming up and I'll probably be doing a live stream during the release. So if you aren't, then consider subscribing. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video or in the live stream. All right, take care, bye.